So, you're going through a, a phase where you're dealing with somebody. Um, this could be you taking back control. This could be a legal situation that you're dealing with. Um, and, you know, maybe you're waiting for some kind of judgment or some kind of decision to be made. And it's got, it's got to do with money. So, if this is a payoff that you're waiting for and you're waiting for the legal decision to come through that, it will be coming through. It looks like you will be successful because you've got the material harvest over here. So whatever judgment that comes through will be in your favor and it looks like a payoff comes to you. And you've got this Empress card over your fertility. So it's going to make you very happy. Whatever comes to you financially, uh, whatever this payoff is, whatever this uh, legal decision is, is going to leave you uh, better off financially and uh, you know, more abundant. Now, in the past, you've been going through a lot of problems. There's been a tower situation over here with a 16 disruption. You know, you felt very tied up, very, very um, isolated, uh, very controlled in this particular situation. And it, it seems like there was a lot of loss, a lot of conflict, a lot of problems. And you've got this mental conflict card over here. So, you know, you've been thinking a lot, being in your head a lot, uh, you know, being worried quite a bit. And this has been going on in the past. Now, going into the future, you've got the shadow card over here and you've got emotional loss. So, um, you know, you might be, you know, trying to come to terms with things. This is about, you know, it's the moon card. It's, you know, facing your worst fears, really. So you have been dealing with things. There's been some kind of emotional loss that has happened that has left you, you know, questioning yourself, left you confused, left you depressed and left you feeling a bit miserable as well. But it looks like, you know, you are going to be taking authority back of that situation as well. This is taking control of that situation and coming out of it. So, you know, try not to get stuck in, in that phase where you're overthinking things. Whatever emotional loss you've had to endure, you're going to be able to deal with it and get through it. Um, you know, you can see this person's heart chakra is activated over here. So whatever this loss is, it has been very hard hitting. It's been something that has left you very uh, emotionally depleted and, uh, you know, questioning yourself. Um, but this phase is coming to an end right now and you will be, be able to move on. So this is, these are the energies for that week. So this is the Tarot of Ascension and I'm going to be doing the main read with that. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Queen of Swords. So you're very determined to get things your way. Uh, you're taking control of that situation. You're cutting out that past. You're saying what you need to say, and you are moving on. Here, it's been stuck. You know, maybe you're thinking a lot about it, um, about what has happened. You're dealing with some kind of legal situation as well with this Queen of Swords and feeling a bit lonely because you're isolating yourself a little bit from everybody else. Uh, maybe you went through a very, very... Um, awful um, emotional breakup so you have um, you know withdrawn into yourself and you're very determined uh, not to get involved with people again but you are contra taking control of, of the situation itself so you are not allowing your fears to overcome you so you've got the King of Chalices and the Hierophant over here. So it seems like you might be seeking some kind of counseling, but there might be somebody around you that is very, very supportive. This could be also dealing with a water sign person. So you've got, um, you know, dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces person. Uh, that might be somebody. This could be somebody that you've broken up with. Maybe you've cut them out of your life as well. Um, you've got the Hierophant over here. So this is about, you know, not listening to whatever is going on around you, not listening to anybody else's opinions, and you have new values. Uh, you're taking control of that situation. You're standing up above everybody else, and you're saying you are, you're determined to do it your way now. You're not uh, going to listen to anybody else's opinions about things. Uh, so you could be dealing with a water sign person. This is also somebody, uh, you know, where you could be um, getting some advice from, and they're allowing you to move uh and rise above the situation. You found yourself a new path. You're going, uh, you know, you're going towards the future. This is a new sunrise. So you are changing your 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 philosophies in life as well. 
you're making sure that you um, give yourself that attention as well. So that's the hierophant. This is also about dealing with a lot of information. It's dealing with old traditional beliefs and getting rid of things uh, that cause conflict in your life as well. So in the past, you've got the Knight of Cups over here. So you could have well been uh, dealing with a water sign person itself. Maybe they made some kind of offer to you. So this is Cancer Scorpio or Pisces person that you have been dealing with. And they seem to have made some kind of apology or some kind of offer to you. And this has happened in the last year. So going uh, in the last three months, whatever has been going on has caused a lot of conflict. It seems like you've been in a war zone over here. You can see lots of, this is a battlefield. There's still people fighting over there. You're in the center of everything over there. So whatever this uh, situation was, was, uh, you know, very detrimental to your emotional stability. And there seems to be a lot of fighting and you are quite exhausted. You know, you feel like, um, you know, it, it feels as though you know, every single day has been a battle for you. You try to overcome it, but if there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of nasty words that are going on. This could even be that you're going through some kind of um, legal battle. And this could well be the case that you're feeling as though, you know, you haven't got the strength to carry on. You're feeling very, very worn out, very, very drained. So what's in your mind? You've got the five of pentacles. So whatever has happened in this particular situation, there's a big loss. This could be a financial loss. It could be a material loss. And now you are trying to make plans for the future to move on from whatever happened. You seem to be dealing with a lot of people. So if this is about money and it's about work, um, you know, there might have been some kind of legal issues that you had to deal with. You seem to have been the center of attention and you seem to have been the victim of all the problems and conflict that has been going on. You've changed the way you're thinking because you've got the hierophant changing the old traditional philosophy. There seems to have been somebody that is there to support you as well. But it seems like you're starting to make plans for the future now. And you've got the King of Swords over here. So there is some kind of legal decision that you have faced or will be facing or uh, a legal decision pending. So this is some kind of court case, some kind of, um, you know, appearing uh, before some kind of legal committee. It's a very official uh, decision that is going, going to be made. And it seems like, you know, you're standing up for yourself. You're having to defend yourself in this legal situation for you to be victorious. Now, you've got the Four of Swords over here. It looks like you're hoping for some kind of reconciliation and some kind of stability to come in. So this could well be that, you know, you could be going through a divorce and this could be that you're hoping that there's some kind of re reconciliation with your relationship. Or if you're, um, you know, working um, and you're, um, you know, having problems within your work situation, you're hoping that this uh, there's some kind of resolution so that, you know, you, you can have some stability as far as your work goes. So what's happening around you? You've got the Empress card over here. You can see this woman is very defensive. She's got a shield and she's got the rod in her hand over here. So, you know, you are standing up for yourself. You are defending yourself and you have been through a lot of battles. Now you're waiting for that decision to come through because you can see she is sitting and waiting and it looks like this legal decision, since it's next to each other, it looks like that is what you're waiting for, that legal decision to come in. So what's your hopes and fears? Your nine of, the nine of uh, swords is about being very anxious. Uh, you know, it's about being awake. It's about having a lot of freshers, um, you know, trying to make a choice, but not knowing really what, which way to go. So expecting the worst case scenario. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So these are ending cards, so endings of cycles. So if it was a divorce, it looks like that uh, situation where you were financially tied to this person has now come to an end. Uh, you are moving off by yourself. So you're cutting your ties completely with them. And with the Ten of uh, Swords, it was a difficult battle that you fought, and it is now going to be over. So it's going to give you your financial independence, whatever you, when you cut ties with this person, or the situation, you will get your financial independence and you will have to just leave it and walk away. Uh, you cannot resurrect the situation there. It doesn't look like there will be any kind of apology or any kind of reconciliation coming through. Uh, I'm sad to say, but this is the case. It looks like you're going to be severing ties and just walking away. But you're definitely going to be walking away, um, you know, having fought a lot of battles and uh, you are going to be uh, better off financially after the situation. You're taking control, taking charge, ending that situation and moving moving away. Um, you know, it was a, um, a battle. Maybe, you know, you were defeated in it in the sense that, uh, you know, it didn't go according to the way you expected it to. Uh, but now you've decided um, to, uh, you know, just let it go and walk away. And if you haven't, it is, it's about time that you did that. Um, you know, just make that decision and move on. Uh, there was, you know, it's, it's, this is, um, the Ten of Swords is such a bloody card usually. Um, 
in the sense that there's a lot of loss and there's a lot of anguish and, uh, you know, things can never be sorted out. And also it looks like a legal decision gets made that forces you into moving away. But it looks like if there's that legal decision that comes in, there is going to be some kind of financial payoff that comes in for it, some kind of settlement that comes through. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot, and that is for the Oracle Read. Now you've got the ego card over here, which says a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So you are, you know, dealing with the situation. Maybe whatever happened has left you, um, you know, feeling very disempowered. And you're having to deal with it. You're feeling a bit negative at this particular moment because maybe this, you know, it was a direct attack on your confidence, um, the situation that you're dealing with. You've got the Ten of Water, so you will recover from it. End of old emotional cycles. So, um, and um, your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So you are ending something uh, emotionally and you are going to be able to move on from it. So all that other unhappiness and um, upset uh, is coming to an end right now. And then you've got the life experience card of here, which says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. So you are going to leave behind the situation and move on and move on to a more positive um, a scenario where there's more abundance and you're going off there by yourself. So, you know, it seems like you're taking uh, whatever you've learned, you're taking yourself and your ideas and your ideologies and you're moving on. So you're waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in um, maybe you were hoping for reconciliation, but it looks like whatever that legal decision that comes in is going to allow you to cut ties completely with the past situation, be more financially independent, and you're going to have to just move on uh, and walk away from it because it doesn't seem like there might be a resolution to that situation. It looks like, you know, you're going to have to just accept it and move on, uh, move on to something better, gather all your strength and move on to something better. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.